Hi guys, Sammy D here and today is a very exciting day because the new Black Ops 3 trailer was released. It's the first time we've seen any gameplay footage and um, what we're going to be doing in this video is breaking it down bit by bit and having a look at it in depth. So let's get to it. Right, so from what we can see here, everything we thought going on the teaser trailers seems to be the case where it's not so much an exosuit, it is this, like, biotech built-in ability, like, advanced technology. It, I mean, the, the game itself is set in 2065, 50 years from now, so obviously you can imagine how advanced technology is going to be by then, and you can see here on this soldier, like, he's wearing, like, what looks like, you can see, like, on his, on the back of his leg and on his arms, it's like, sort, sort of, like, robotic features, um... Which, like we say, the exosuit is like external, whereas all this technology now is built into the soldiers. What happens when the soldier becomes the weapon? Right, so what we see here is a soldier with a machine gun casually built into his arm. That's crazy. But, obviously, this is set 50 years from now, so what they're aiming to portray is the technology is going to get that advanced the soldiers are going to become weapons. It quite literally. So it's quite obvious now that exosuits aren't in Black Ops 3. However, the abilities as such still remain. I mean, you can see here you've got what's known as a thrust jump, apparently. Um, you've still got your power sliding. And if you look carefully, you'll notice when the soldier is punching these robots, it's not a knife. It, it is a punch. So that is quite similar to all the exo abilities you have in Advanced Warfare. But you've also got to take into consideration that Treyarch have been making Black Ops 3 for a good couple of years. So there will be some sort of crossover where there will be similarities, but it's not copied Advanced Warfare. It's So you can see here they've got gameplay footage of swimming and the ability to shoot underwater. So that's something new. And also the ability to run on walls. It's going to bring a new swift, fast-paced movement that's something different from any other Call of Duty game. How far can we push technology before it starts pushing back? So my opinion from this is the storyline through the campaign is going to be something along the lines of their own creation backfiring on them. So they've advanced technology that much, they lose control of it. It it starts to fight back. Um, you can see here, like in the footage, there's all these body bags and there's dead bodies everywhere. And it, it sort of indicates to me that there's going to be some sort of war between this master race that they've created with this biotech and the bog standard soldiers i mean it sort of goes with the debate where you advance technology that much you're messing with nature how we're intended to be it's obviously not meant to be like that in the trailer we get a sneak peek of some brand new weapons coming to black ops 3 so we've got a crossbow which explodes when it, you shoot at an enemy you've got this spinning wheel grenade type thing and you've got these blades that apparently shoot like electric pulses through the ground and blow things up and it's all so exciting i can't believe how much they've actually revealed in this trailer and as you can see here we're also getting a potential sneak peek at the zombies it's only a brief little thing but i'm still super excited for it so thank you all for watching i hope you've enjoyed this in-depth sort of review of the trailer um, don't forget you can pre-order the game from now and that gives you exclusive access to the beta for multiplayer which is something i'm super psyched about as well um let me know what you think of the trailer what let me know what you think is coming to the game in the comments below i'd love to hear what you guys think of it all um again thank you for watching uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all the black ops 3 news um and thank you and i'll see you guys in another video